Lesson 4.12, find sums of four add-ins. From the strategies that we've learned to add three numbers, we can use to add four numbers. We can add four numbers by making a 10, adding doubles facts, adding near doubles facts, finding a sum we know, or starting at the top and continuing down a column. When we use the strategy make a 10, we find two digits that will make a 10. 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. Then we have 10 plus 2 more, that's 12, 13, 14, 15. We regroup the 10 for the 15. We put the five ones down here in the ones column. We add our 10s. We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have six tens. Our sum is 65. We could also add double facts first. Here we have a 3 plus 3, which is 6. Then we can add the 7, that's 13, and 2 more is 1415. We could also start with the double facts, then add the 2. We have 6, and 2 more is 8, then add the 7, because we can add in any order. It's equal to 15. 15 is 110 and 5 ones. Now we add the tens and we've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have the same add-ins in these problems. They're both equal to 65. We just used different strategies to add. When we use the strategy add near doubles, we look for two add-ins that are near each other that are almost doubles. 7 plus 7 is equal to 14, so 7 plus 8 must be one more than that. It's 15. If we add 0, it's still 15, and 4 more is 19. 19 is 1 10 and 9 ones. We regroup the 10. Now we add the tens column. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 tens, 9 ones. It's equal to 69. We could also start at the top and just add going down the column. 0 plus 2 is 2, plus 7 more is 9, plus 4 more is 13. 13 is one ten that we regroup and three ones. Now we add the tens. We have 2 and 3 is 5, 6, 7, 8 tens. It's equal to 83. We can add digits in a column in more than one way. But we do add the ones first, then the tens, in case we need to regroup ten ones as one ten. We can find a sum that we know, then add to it. We know three plus three is six, and six plus four is ten. Then we think ten plus this one up here, because we can add in any order. 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 1 more is 11. 11 is 1 10 and 1 1. We write the 10 up here in the tens column. We regroup it. We put the 1 in the ones place. Now we add the tens column. We have 5 tens plus 2 tens. That's 7 tens. 8, 9, 10 tens. And remember, 10 tens are equal to 100. So now we have a 1 in the hundreds place and a zero in the tens place. It's equal to 101. We can add pairs of digits first, then add these sums. We can add 1 plus 3 to equal 4, and 4 plus 3 to equal 7. And 4 plus 7 is equal to 11. 11 is 1 10 and 1 1. Now we add the tens place, 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 101 for our sum. We have to remember to add all of the digits in the column. If we add the digits and forget one, we're going to have the wrong sum. We can add the digits in the tens column using these ways. Make a 10, 10 
10 tens are equal to 100. Add doubles facts, add near doubles facts, finding a sum we know, and starting at the top and continuing down. I see a doubles fact, 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, 2 more is 10, and 1 more is 11. We can do the same thing with the tens that we do with the ones. So starting with the ones place, we have 5 plus 5 is equal to 10, plus 0 it's still 10, plus 6 more is equal to 16. It was important to start adding in the ones column because we had to regroup 110 and write the 6 in the ones place. If we had started adding the tens place, we would have forgotten about this regrouped 1 and we would have had to add again. Now we have 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 2 more is 10, 11, 12. We have 12 tens, and 12 tens are 10 tens, which make 100, with 2 tens left over. That's 120, and we have 6 ones, 126. Some friends need 80 popsicle sticks for a project. Tala brings 15 popsicle sticks, Sophia brings 31 popsicle sticks, Dave brings 18 popsicle sticks, and Bob brings 10. That means Bob brings 10 popsicle sticks. How many more do they need? And we think we need a total of how many they have together, then we can find out how many more they need to have 80. It says they need 80 right here. We can circle the important information. They need 80. Tala brings 15, Dave brings 18, Sophia's 31, Bob's 10. We can add them, making sure our columns are straight. We can start by adding the greatest digits. 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. One more is 14, and 0. We're still at 14. We regroup the 10 and write the 4 in the 1's place. Now we add the 10's. 3 four, five, six, seven. So together they have 74. They need 80. Do you know how many more they need? If you said six, you're right. Here we have a table and it says muffins baked the type and the number of muffins. Cinnamon, there's 36. Blueberry, there's 25. Oat, there's 14. And cranberry, there's 20. And it's asking us, how many muffins did Mrs. Kim bake? Well, we need to add these numbers to know how many in all. We stack the numbers, 36, 25, 14, 20. Nice, so they're in the right column. Ones and tens. I see a six and a four, that makes 10. We can add the five, that's 15, plus zero is still 15. 15 is one ten, five ones. Now we add the tens column. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine tens, five ones, that's 95 muffins. Now it's telling us, circle which two she baked more cinnamon and oat, or blueberry and cranberry? Well, cinnamon is 36, oat is 14. We need to add 36 plus 14. Blueberry is 25, cranberry is 20. We need to add 25 plus 20. We can rewrite them into a, this is called the standard algorithm. We have them stacked in place value columns. We can add 6 plus 4, which is equal to 10. We regroup the 10 and put 0 in the 1's place. Now we add the 10's column, 3, 4, 5. That means for cinnamon and oat, there are 50. Now we add blueberry and cranberry. We do the same. We stack them in their place value. 5 plus 0 is equal to 5, and 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. That's 45. We're comparing 50 to 45. 50 has more tens. It's got five tens. This only has four tens. So 50 is greater.
50 is greater than 45. So circle which she baked more. She baked more cinnamon and oat. Mrs. Kim's Bakery sold 27 apple pies, 35 chocolate pies, 13 pecan pies, and 10 cherry pies. How many pies did the bakery sell? Circle your answer. So it says the bakery sold, and then we need to circle one of these for the correct number of pies that the bakery sold. We can circle the important information. We circle the number of different types of pies that they sold. And we need a total to find how many they sold. So we can write them as an addition problem. 27 plus 35 plus 13 plus 10. We start with the ones place. 7 plus 5, we can start here and just go down. But I see a 10. I see 7 and a 3. That makes a 10. Then we can add 5 more. We have 15 and 0. That's still 15. 15 is 110, 5 ones. We regroup that 110 into the tens column. Now we can add the tens. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 85. The bakery sold, we circle 85. The bakery sold 85 pies. Remember to add all of the digits in a column. Our next lesson, we're gonna be moving on to chapter five. We're going to be talking about two-digit subtraction, and we're going to be using regrouping. Keep trying your best. Keep trying to memorize your math facts, your addition and subtraction facts. And I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.